Okay guys, so a little video here um, about, well I'm using Samson as an example here, right son? Uh, so in his last home they said he was a little bit chase happy with a smaller livestock and um, he's been a little angel here so far because he's only been here less than a week and I said just wait this is not the land of unicorns and daisies here all the time that um, just because he's been good so far it's only because he's not comfortable yet you know when you get hired at a new job and you're on your best behavior and um, you want to do everything right but then if you're like me after a little while your sassy attitude comes out and eh, whoops um, so that happens with animals too. So he's just been on good behavior. That's all it is. And he's been in with Miss Tipper here. Um, and I put those two together because she's good at kind of making dogs feel comfortable. She's a submissive gal and she just, um, I don't know, she just is a nice non-confrontational non-intimidating dog. So Samson was uncomfortable the first day yesterday when we put him out here with the goats to work for the first time. So I put Tipper out with him and she seemed to soothe him just a little bit. So back out to work together they were again today. And here's the thing with Tipper though. Um, she can be a little sassy sometimes uh, in regards to when she gets bored and she's with other dogs. I lost her. She's behind me somewhere. She likes to um, sometimes try to be a little bit of an antagonizer, um, which I think maybe may have been the case here. Um, so I wasn't here watching close. Um, I was doing other things in, in a different barn and blah, blah, blah. And I come back after I hear Yusuf in the adjacent pen barking, and he likes to be a little narc sometimes. So he was narking somebody out. And so I came back to this pasture and this is what I found. So I have an angel puppy here and an angel puppy right there. But then I have my girls all over here in a group away from the barn, which is where they normally would be at this time of the night. Cause I'm getting, I'm fixing to get milking here. So all my milkers should be in the barn waiting for their turn. And I'm like, this is odd, they're not. Hmm, but I have an angel pup here and an angel pup there everybody over here. So what does that tell me? Uh, that tells me that my two little angel guardians out here weren't being so angelic. Um, my guess would be um, that the little instigator tipper was probably telling Samson, hey, I'm bored. Let's get into some mischief, maybe. Um, and um, weren't full out chasing. Because I can hear when chasing happens, but my guess is the two of them were making this group a little bit uncomfortable. To the point where they weren't comfortable enough all being in the barn together. Um, so that's what that tells me. So, like, nobody's in trouble. Nobody's getting reprimanded because I didn't see anybody doing anything. Um, but it um, makes me realize that Mr. Sampson there probably is starting to warm up and feel comfortable enough to start to let his true colors come out which is fine, because that's actually kind of a good thing, right? I want him to feel comfortable. I want him to be himself, um, because then we can start making progress, and I can catch him doing stuff, um, and correct it, and then work on it, because we can't work on things to get better at if we're not ever doing things we shouldn't do. That's weird, but you get what I'm saying. You get where I'm going with this. Um, so that's what just happened. So um, that tells me um, that we're going to just kind of reassess some things, reassess some assignments. If Tipster is so terribly bored out here, then she can go work with um, something a little harder, um, something a little bit more challenging. And Mr. Sampson here, I'm going to hang out tomorrow with him and we're going to see what we get out here. You know, um, we'll see. But, you know, it's baby steps, right? One step at a time at a time, day at a time. I don't have a lot of money, but I have a lot of time. So that's what we're going to do. And I got a lot of patience. And I always have some good ideas up my sleeve. And so that's what we're going to do. At least that's the plan. As of right now, that too can change by morning. You never know.